So now, if 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 you allow me, that it will be interesting to have kind of reflection from the different projects uh, to see what they think and um, what we have learned. So I don't know who is here. Uh, yes, Dr. Samah. Dima. Good morning. Yes. Uh, hi, everyone. More than a job, um, let's say. More than a job project, yes. Uh, Nablus Chamber of Commerce uh, in Palestine. So I just want to, I just like to thank you for the uh, the chance to be here today and to, to take part at earlier stage for uh, to take part in this research. Uh, thanks for Barbara for the interesting uh, uh, presentation. Uh, we could touch uh, and see the intersection between the all projects in ENI. So it was a great chance to see how she works on the results, how the outputs. Um, so we are looking forward to, to see this, the final version of the research and if possible to also to receive the uh, presentation, it was interesting. And thank you, everyone. Thank you. Dima. So uh, do you like to start with more than a job, Dr. Imad, Fadia, me maybe, and Dima, if we have a reflection or ideas? Yes, uh, first, of all, yes. Uh, first of all, thank you, uh, Barbara, for your uh, fruitful uh, analysis and uh, the, the, the results you have you have mentioned in your report. It will be, of course, uh, useful for our decision makers in order to take into account some of your comments regarding uh, different social inclusion uh, uh, outputs from all uh, our five uh, Across uh, uh, context uh, activities and uh, results. Uh, regarding more than a job, uh, uh, of course, I am agree with you that uh, the social innovation in our projects uh, uh, it's focused on uh, sub grants and the results of these sub grants. But maybe I can give you a, a brief. Uh, I have a presentation, but. Uh, we not have a time to maybe to present, but I can give you a brief about uh, the methodology we uh, implemented uh, in order to achieve uh, the results of uh, social innovation, uh, implementing the social innovative ideas in more than a job project. Uh, first of all, we identified, as you mentioned, Barbara, not best practices. We mentioned now it as a good practices. Uh, uh, through analyzing the international best, be good practices and local good practices implemented in different uh, countries. Uh, after that, uh, we preparing the framework, taking into account the local context in each uh, partner country, uh, which are uh, related to the selected uh, good practices. Uh, and after that, we prepared a training materials uh, for training, uh, train of trainers, DOTs, in order to uh, distribute the ideas of these uh, good selected good practices. The TOTs, after that, they trained uh, the SSEs and BEs in each uh, partner country in order to show them these uh, best uh, or good practices existing and selected in more than a job project. Uh, after that, we opened a call for uh, sub-grants and we received more than 200 uh, proposals. We selected from these uh, proposals uh, 10, which are fit to these uh, selected good practices. Uh, by, uh, through this uh, period, uh, also we analyzed uh, the existing uh, policies which are related to these good practices, exist existing policies in, in our partner uh, countries. Also, we submitted, uh, it's for Julia, we submitted a policy brief, uh, including some suggestions and recommendations for uh, public authorities in order to improve the existing policies which are related to these good practices. Uh, we, of course, uh, through the project, we funded these uh, selected uh, 10 proposals as uh, innovative ideas for creating a job and for uh, 
increasing uh, the capability of SSEs and, uh, in, and enhancing the relations between SSEs and BEs. Uh, uh, and the results uh, of these uh, sub grants uh, it was uh, uh, it was very fruitful for our communities and uh, we can we can uh, later we can send you uh, uh, let's say uh, the feedback of these uh, implemented projects in, in all uh, our partner countries uh, and at, uh, at the end of the third year, also we submitted uh, uh, a policy brief after meetings with BEs and SSEs in each partner country in order to analyze these uh, sub-grants and the results of these sub-grants and how we can adopt our policies to reflect the results of these sub-grants and to repeat these uh, uh, sub-grants to be as uh, pilots in each country. Uh, and we benefit a lot from all partners. Uh, I mean, we not focused on the selected uh, sub-grants in Jordan or in Palestine or in Lib Lebanon in order to uh, to repeat, but we focus on the results of all sub-grants as a tool for, for uh, adopting the policies in each country. Uh, of course, uh, also one of the main uh, output of our more than a job project it was e uh, creating e-portal the e-portal uh, facilitating uh, the communication and networking between different uh, sses in, uh, in different countries and the relations of course enhancing the relations between bes and sses it's the way we and the methodology we implementing in more than a job in order to achieve the results you mentioned, uh, Barbara, in your uh, uh, highly important report. Thank you. Thank you. And also, it's important to say that it, within the more than a job in some countries and region, it was like the first initiative to build the link between the public sector and the SSEs. And uh, this is replying or uh, matching the, the suggestions or the uh, cross cutting issue among the different uh, projects you have presented in the report. So thank you, Dr. Imad, for your reflection. Uh, maybe we go to uh, MedUp if they, if anyone is presented here. Barbara, want to say something? Yes, sorry, uh, sorry to interrupt, Tamah. Uh, Dr. Ahmad, I uh, the, the you did an excellent presentation of the more than a job project. Actually, I had a long conversation with Dr. Samah uh, earlier this summer, last summer, and. Um, she presented very, very clearly the, the project and the project process, etc. And I do have those very interesting briefs that the project has supplied, maybe not the last one. But uh, I just wanted to tell you that all this was taken into cons consideration in the report because I, I, I already had been briefed by uh, Dr. Saleh. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anyone from MEDA? Or uh, maybe someone, like I, I'm, I'm not going to call all projects. Maybe someone here from another project can just jump in. If we have someone from YES or Ro, Ro, uh, Romed or Midtown or I can. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to say something? But it, it will be. Good. Yeah, yes. we have uh, Rodrigue. Rodrigue, and then I'll, I'll drop. Yeah, great. Okay, thank you. Good morning to you all. Well, if uh, any anybody else wants to take the floor, uh, he or she is more, more than welcome. Uh, it was only to know. I, I didn't want to leave a blank here uh, during during the meeting, uh, and it's a good opportunity to me to send uh, 
Extremely uh, good morning to uh, a lot of people who are uh, meeting today. Uh, Barbara, you, uh, your dog is uh, quite pretty. When you don't speak, uh, we can see him uh, helping you to uh, complete your uh, your exposition. It's uh, it, it's a magnificent uh, magnificent picture. Anyway, uh, I'm Roderick. I'm uh, more specifically interested in the uh, CITES topic, uh, CITES, which was the, one of the main so the main output of uh, YES program in Tunisia. Uh, it's a concept that's, uh, that as YES Med uh, we are we have been develop developing from uh, the since. Uh, 13, 14, something like that. Uh, now, yes, it doesn't exist, but uh, CITES concepts uh, still uh, exist, and its uh, uh, founders or inventors uh, are, are still alive. Um, well, about the Barbara uh, work, I only would like to say that it was a very a great experience uh to exchange with her uh about those topics last summer a long time ago um i think uh well she she quickly understood uh what uh, were the main uh aspects uh of the of the city's process as i sure she did uh with the other projects uh she had uh on on the table um nothing to say it's uh it's really uh it's uh, it's it's a synthetic uh, study so it's a bit uh maybe theoretical uh, uh, from my point of view uh i think uh it's not a problem uh theory is good for uh people who like uh, theory but i think that the first challenge that uh, social and solidarity economy has is to act to prove to demonstrate to deliver uh to work uh and socially sir, I, I i'm speaking from my own experience of nearly 40 years uh social and solidarity economy often likes to speak 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 talk uh and uh, this has a new name today which is uh, advocacy uh i think that uh, if uh, social and solidarity economy wants to really demonstrate that it's a useful tool way of doing things uh for local development Mm, the first challenge uh, is to uh, deliver, develop projects, concrete projects, uh, and demonstrate that the E of social and social uh, social and social economy is uh, well. Disappointedly, uh, in English, it's the last letter of social and solidarity economy. In French, it's the first one: uh, économie sociale et solidaire. And uh, often, uh, we are very focused uh on solidarity and on social issues which is really nice but if you don't have an economic model an economic reflection if you don't know uh, how to make sustainable uh, your projects uh you'll not be uh, uh social a long time Mm -hmm. uh, it's a question of uh, sustainability, and I think, from my point of view, that it's a, a real challenge. If the Madia Cites and the Sidi Bouzid Cites, which is the other one in Tunisia, still are um, living, which is not bad, uh, five years after their creation, uh for after the end of is program seven after uh starting uh, the constitution process is because they could uh build projects mm, and have and demonstrate a real impact uh if you don't have this very present from the first moment it's blah 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 
uh, I'm not speaking logically about uh, Barbara Studi, uh, but uh, beyond the words, uh, we have action. Mm, and this is, uh, in my mind, the main, uh, the main purpose. Yeah, this is interesting. <laughs> Thank you. So, Barbara, you raise your hand. I'm sure you have uh, many things to, to say. I have to, I have to react to Roderick. You can. I mean, he's yes, <laughs> he's, please. He's provoked. Yeah. He's provoked yeah. on three, four levels. <laughs> of course. First of all, first the of more all, more personal ones. <laughs> first of all. Thank you very much for all the support and the explanations and the brain washing that you tried to give me during summer on solidarity. I am a perseverant student and I did all the readings that you asked me to do and suggested that I would do and you gave me a lot of trouble but I came out of it more enlightened regarding solidarity. Thank you for that. Second of all, the CITES is an incredible experience and it, it, it was already on, on paper. Um, mind you, please, uh, I am not comparing between projects. It was very hard for me to produce a report that did not uh, highlight the super achievements of one project versus the other. Each of the projects has done in its own context with its own implementers. Uh, a, a great job in terms of uh, setting up uh, nuclei for co-production initiatives. But the projects also had other objectives. Let's not forget that the projects that are under MedRise were not focused on co-production and social innovation. This was not their initial aim. MedRise is looking back, is, is, is giving us the opportunity to look back at projects that did not have co-production as a main aim in order to uh, derive good practices, lessons, and eventually pathways for progress from projects that did not focus on co-production. So this was a challenge also for me. But however, I have to say that CITES in itself uh, was a great concept. It was, as you say, uh, an economic model that existed from day one, that had, uh, that, that was designed from the beginning. And the challenge was to set it up and to make it sustainable. And it's, it's a project, it's not a project, it's an initiative that um, was, in, I mean, Okay, the Madia experience, uh, I did not talk to anyone from Sidi Bouzi, CITES, but uh, talking to uh, Hala, the manager of the uh, Madia uh, CITES was amazing. And it is Hala who uh, really insisted on one of the factors that I then reinvestigated and it turned out to be really central, it's the human factor. Hala made it very clear that uh, the CITES was a great concept, but it is the people involved in the CITES on an individual personal basis who made it sustainable beyond the time frame of the project because they were personally involved in the impact that they were having on the ground, on the actors of the SSE, on those youth who were setting up small enterprises and startups to make a difference on, in the ecosystem that they were living in. Actually, to make the ecosystem progress. This is what was uh, very interesting uh, in the cities. And Hala was saying, there are days where we lost hope because we didn't have budgets, because we didn't have enough projects, because we were, you know, uh, 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 grappling to find um, uh, uh, money to, to, to fund our, our future, to keep us going. And uh, she managed to put the academia in. And so they made bridges with the university, which was very interesting. But that, and then the public sector, public sector was involved in the CITES because on individual basis, you had 
uh, uh, representatives from public authorities who would join the board of the CITES on personal basis at a time where their administrations did not necessarily back them up. That was amazing and that should keep going and that is due to people who are central in keeping one initiative oxygenated. So thank you for pointing this out. And one last thing, uh, replicability, I would like to make a small bridge, uh, Julia, correct me if I'm wrong, with ARCO, with what MedRise, MedRise is, is a set of, um, of actions that are completely complementary, and ARCO is working on uh, replicability of those successful uh, or good practices identified within the capitalized projects. And uh, I know for sure that CITES is definitely replicable. And as I said it earlier, I don't know if you've noticed, it has replicability built in, in into its design. It is perfectly replicable, contextualizable, and um, it can have the, the, the concept and the design of it can definitely make an impact in the different various ecosystems. And I wish you luck uh, in the future endeavors uh, that could replicate uh, CITES. There you go. Thank you again, Roderick. Just a, just a word to tell you at uh, this, this time very seriously, Barbara. <laughs> Thank you very much for your words, for the patience. I'm always, I'm always very serious. You were, you were sharing now the emotion uh, you put in your words, uh, social and strategy economy, the economy of the involvement. Uh, you insisted very much in that. Uh, and I think you gave, uh, you gave us a good example of uh, what uh, this involvement can be. Thank you. Thank you. So we go to Arij. Hello, everyone. So me and Hassan wanted to talk about MEDAP very briefly, but first let me thank Barbara for this good job. Well done. The findings and the recommendation are very, very interesting and that confirm our thoughts about the project and the implementation process of the project, um, mainly MEDAP and METAM in Tunisia. So um, let me talk about MEDAP very quick. Uh, uh, as mentioned in the analysis, uh, Barbara explained that MEDAP worked on three levels. Uh, at macro level in Tunisia, we worked with Oxfam Tunisia uh, about the advocacy uh, phase. And at meso level, we worked directly with the CISOs, the support organizations. We uh, supported them technically, mainly uh, with the help of other international partners like Impact Hub and Clean Network. And at uh, mid macro level, a micro level, we supported the entrepreneurs directly, financially and technically. And that will uh, very, very, uh, it was a very, very interesting phase for the entrepreneurs and in Tunisia. Uh, mainly because it's the first time that uh, a project and across, um, uh, I, I don't know how to say that, across national or multinational project in Tunisia that give uh, entrepreneurs um, sub-grants. So yeah, it was the first in Tunisia. Uh, then we worked on some creative approaches at nano level uh, like designing some uh, a game and like producing uh, some uh, documentaries. Uh, I let Hassan to explain. Okay, thank you, Edish. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you, Barbara, for the insightful study and for sharing it with us. Also, um, I, I'd like to bounce back on what uh, Samah uh, tried to uh, redirect us to, which is um, uh, exchanging around. Uh, uh, policy uh, briefs and uh, what kind of topics we can uh, talk about. And among the, uh, the, the ideas that I, I'd like to share, uh, I will uh, go back to, uh, to, uh, to the ludic approach that we tried to uh, work on through a MEDAP project. So uh, I um, among the topics that uh, I think um, 
that are insightful and based on the uh, opportunities shared on the uh, study, uh, we um, there are, uh, for example, uh, we can work on uh, one topic, which is identifying the best practices for replicating uh, um, uh, SSE hubs, such as, such as uh, the CTES one. Uh, and uh, we can have like um, a, a, a defined model for how to replicate uh, an SSE hub. Uh, that's one. Uh, also, uh, for example, uh, fostering uh, efficient, sustainable uh, partnerships between SSE and the uh, public sector. Uh, we can have uh, best practices for um, creating hubs where uh, public sector and uh, SSE actors can, um, uh, like can come together and uh, co-produce uh, social policies. And uh, one model we've worked on is uh, through the MedTown project, uh, which is a national workshop. Uh, and I think that it's um, a very effective uh, model that could be replicated throughout different regions uh, in Tunisia, um, because we've worked on three regions uh, only through the, the, this uh, edition. Uh, another, another topic, uh, which is, um, uh, and based on the, on the opportunities identified on the research, uh, which is uh, keep on defining SSE actors, uh, and um, I think that we could do this through uh, one, uh, uh, like a mapping of the of the, of the SSE uh, sector in Tunisia, uh, a defined uh, mapping with its actors, and um, um, uh, like whether it be it uh, private or uh, or public ones. And lastly, I would, I would bounce back to what Erich Erich said. Uh, about the um, some of the uh, replicable uh, ludic uh, uh, um, like it's not projects but initiatives we, we tried to work on uh, or outputs of the meta uh, meta project uh, we worked on a, a card game uh, that uh, in in uh, the uh, Tunisian dialect uh, Arabic dialect which is a Zama game. And it's a, a replicable uh, project. Uh, uh, it has a potential to, uh, like, we, 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 we've played the game with different actors uh, in Tunisia on different occasions. Uh, and uh, we've seen um, a potential for it to, to be, for example, translated, translated into other languages. Uh, when, when you went also, when you had, we've attended the meeting in Italy. Yeah. There, there were uh, other partners that are that were interested in uh, adopting the, the the game as a, an educational tool about social entrepreneurship uh, and uh, its concepts. Uh, also, the documentaries uh, that were developed within the Meta uh, framework. Um, uh, we've uh, like we uh, we projected the the documentaries across their ecosystems first. And it was um, a one of a kind experience because uh, it helped um, inspire the uh, like not, not only the audience that was watching the, the documentaries, but also it's, it was a sort of uh, an, an engagement tool and a hope tool to, uh, to the, the, um, the featured initiatives uh, on the documentaries. Uh, it's it, it's a way it's a way of documenting their their hard work and their challenging work uh, and uh, those moments where, uh, as Barbara said, that, that some some like some some um, people like kind of lose hope, but they keep on being re resilient. And uh, such um, I think such initiatives they it's it's a way of um, of pushing them to, uh, to to move forward and to encourage them. Thank you. Thank you, Alice and Hala. Uh, Julia? Yes, I have a question for Hossen. Uh, I would like to know in which language the card game is right now. I, I forgot, I don't know. Right now it's in, uh, in uh, Arabic, uh, uh, there is, there is uh, the dialect, Tunisian dialect. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, cool. Because it's uh, because we wanted that the um, we wanted to make sure that the social entrepreneurship uh, concepts uh, are more accessible, like to, to to the general public. Yeah, yeah, of course. I, I was thinking, you know, because you mentioned the translation of this card game can be an opportunity. So, I would like I, I wanted to know. And unfortunately, I couldn't and I couldn't play the game in the in the in the workshop because I was uh, you know COVID sick. But um, 
I will, I mean, I, I will inform myself regarding this card game. Thank, thank you. you. And yes, and also, Hossen, th thank you a lot for your inputs. Actually, this is what I, we were looking for, you know, a little bit of brainstorming on, uh, because actually the, the policy brief uh, would be um, developed uh, not based on the project, but based on country level. So, because, because we have to keep in mind with that we will need to organize a national event. So I like this uh, uh, way to proceed. Uh, I mean, think about a national context. So thank you very much. I think this will be very useful to work together and develop uh, uh, something. Yeah, Georgia. Uh, well, uh, I would like um, just to have some ideas that just came uh, to me uh, about the, the topics of the policy brief uh, with regards to META, but although we are going to reflect more internally and we will come with some more ideas uh, in Jordan. Uh, for, for us in Spain, definitely it would be the, the, the theme of the use of local complementary digital currencies for the channeling of, um, of financial aid. Uh, this is a very innovative um, initiative that uh, has been already applied in several uh, cities in, in Spain. And although in the Meta project, uh, our demonstrative action has faced problems due to the political, say, fears, uh, we would like to insist uh, and, and advocate <laughs> towards <laughs> uh, the, the use of such initiatives and the introduction of such uh, policies uh, from the public sector. Um, uh, and maybe uh, study more uh, what are the challenges, why, uh, although it is accepted by politicians, when it comes the time to apply the, the initiative, they step back. Um, so this would be a crucial uh, topic. Uh, the topic of the participation of, of uh, the users to the design of the of social policy and innovative elements also and what we are interested to to promote through the Metown project. Um, and yeah for, for the moment these are some of the topics that are uh, for for Rubomet I think uh, the focus on, on gender, on female cooperatives, uh, how important it is to involve women in collective initiatives uh, and give them uh, space to uh, participate more um, on community development or local community development. And um, and how you can uh, capitalize from previous projects to create uh, new paths from these uh, uh, women cooperatives, as we did in our case with the project Consumer uh, Palestina. I mean, we went uh, some steps forward and we didn't abandon the collectives that we supported and we always tried to reach new funds for supporting and sustaining. Uh, um, initiative. Um, and if, if I can make a question here uh, I, uh, on the report, uh, yes, it was very interesting to me what uh, Rodrik and Barbara mentioned earlier about the uh, methodology and the uh, important element of the human relationship. Uh, I, I have a question about the, the committee. Uh, and the persons that are involved. I mean, we see that uh, uh, in the committees, uh, the persons are participating as personalities and uh, 
although they are members of some official organization, they do not directly represent this organization. No, is that uh, correct? But however, their uh, participation in their committee, uh, they create a, a, a trust or an unofficial commitment, let's say, or some hope that uh, they will bring to their institutions uh, the, I mean, the, the, they will bring back to their institution what these committees want to achieve or to transfer or to help the development of the SSC ecosystem, but without commitment official, how does it work? And do they change by time, these committees, how they are um, constituted? If uh, there is space to answer these questions, I don't know how you will manage it. Thank you, Georgia. Uh, Barbara, you wanna answer, right? I would like to answer only if Roderick doesn't have a very explicit answer to that. So I, I'll start by saying what I got from Hala, who is the manager of the Mahdi Asites. Uh, if I remember correctly, uh, Hala had separated be between the institution, exactly as Georgia understood it, between the public institution and the people representing the public institution. So basically, technically, it was the public institution that was represented on the boards. But th those representatives or managers of a certain department in a public institution that was uh, either related to education or related to the municipality, or I can't remember very well which authorities were involved. They were not given, let's say, enough autonomy to make a decision involving public budgets or involving public, um, let's say, responsibility, if I recall. However, they personally got involved in the issue, in the topic, in the challenge, in the initiative, which made them, exactly as you said, uh, impact their authorities, their administration in certain ways. And certain ways could be something very, very basic. It, for instance, I remember Hala giving the example of, of um, they were, they needed uh, to set up an event and they did not have the space for it. And one director from one ministry said, I have the authority to use the conference room in my administration. I do not need uh, authorization from my minister to do so. Please have the CITES meeting in this area. Those are very small things, but they start by one-to-one -one relationships that are set up on sound and trust basis. Uh, and then it can be taken to a further to a further stage. Now, I do not know, uh, maybe Roderick can help, uh, I do not know if this partnership is further institutionalized. Uh, I did not get the answer to that. How those boards, uh, every, every how long they're changed and exactly what is the extent of the responsibility of the representatives of the public authorities. But uh, the start is we were, sent here to represent our authorities. We did not care about the, the project and progressively we got hooked to the project and we started liking this project and we felt personally involved in a way that gives fires back positively at the authority in terms of um, dynamics, let's say, in terms of momentum. This is what I recall from the Magia CITES uh, experience. Thank you, Barbara, for the uh, contribution. Uh, Rodrigue, you want to say something, right? 
uh, I, 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 I don't want, but I try to complete what uh, what what Barbara was saying. Uh, in, in the Tunisian case, uh, you have a, a law about associations uh, which doesn't authorize uh, public inst well institutions in general uh, to be part of an uh, of, of an association. Hmm? It's reserved to uh, persons. Uh, individual. Uh, and it was a problem for us because what was really interesting was to associate uh, precisely uh, the institution. Anyway, we found the, this way uh, of personal complicities to, uh, to, start, to start working. Nothing, uh, you can perfectly then have a uh, Institutional partnership, it's not, it's not very difficult, it's just uh, uh, dedicate time uh, and work to it. Uh, I don't know if they did it in the case of Tunisia, but it's something which is perfectly, perfectly possible. What is interesting is, uh, well, at, at last, all is a question of win-win perspective. At the beginning, in every country, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm verifying it today uh, in Europe, uh, concretely um, in France. Uh, public public sector, when you arrive as social society, social civil society with ideas, with projects, uh, they always look uh, to you with uh, not too much trust. Hmm? Uh, because if the idea is good, they want to lead it themselves, uh and uh, if they don't understand the id uh forget it. but then uh when they understand that that can be useful for them too and that a third party in that case a cites or every every kind of organization can help to find solutions that themselves are not able to find because they have not the intellectual capacity, because they don't have the financial capacity, because well, th there can be uh, the, uh, there may be a lot of reasons. Then in the, it's in, it's another it's another question, and then they try to understand what is really the interest of the process, uh, which are which is submitted to them. Examples in the case of uh, Madia, Cites Madia, uh, Hela told me told us, look, uh, I have this ministry, I don't remember which one, it can't get directly finance funding for this project, then he uses hmm, uh, the CTS to ask, uh, I don't know if it's to an organization, uh, corporation, uh, agency, or anyway, it, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, which is interesting that as a public institution, I can't ask funding for this project. I think it's useful. So I'll do it, I do it using, uh, with all the partners, of, and logically, the same partnerships of, of CITES. Uh, this tool uh, to, uh, to achieve my goals. And then it's when really the thing starts to be interesting. It's another view of what Barbara was telling us about the, the, the room. Hmm? Uh, look, you want a conference uh, room? I have it. Uh, look, you see that can get uh, this, uh, this fund. So uh, let's work together. Hmm? Let's, let's co-produce if we want to use uh, the ACPP uh, word uh, for them. And, and when those instruments, well, those tools, instruments, uh, everybody around the table feels that it's mm, it's mine. It's mine. I'm a public institution. I'm an association. I'm I'm everybody. But this tool is mine. Is the shared tool to try to get the best results for the projects we want to uh, to implement. And and that's it. There, where when the the, the thing starts to be. Uh, yesterday, I had the same case here in a small city hall in the Pyrenees, mm, in Europe. And uh, it was the typical guy, uh, mayor of the city, uh, who tries to show that he still is the power. Nobody today is the power or the only power. Um, so, 
uh, when we explain him, look, guy, we don't like to do that. Uh, he was the first who told, I'm interested in, I can't do it. I can't do it alone. So uh, what was at the beginning a kind of confrontation, very quickly passed to be a cooperation. Together, we'll do it. And doesn't matter who leads, who doesn't lead. At last, the political figure will be in the picture, which is the important and the interesting for them. The picture that the journalists will do when we inaugurate, I don't know what. But the process, uh, and that is the interesting in social and solidarity economy, is the initiative, the operational leading. I believe that the social society, uh, social and social solidarity economy, has to take it. Okay, thank you for uh, this interesting uh, discussion. I think if we keep going, we will not finish uh, the webinar today. Uh, we will have uh, maybe we can put it on the floor for uh, another discussion in a man or uh, in another webinar to continue in this because I think it's very important topic and very important uh, subject to discuss and to learn lessons from this uh, i don't know if anyone want to say something or to contribute before we come to the end of this webinar anyone okay uh, dr sama yes Dima. go ahead uh, yes, actually, I made uh, a very quick uh, contribution. Um, I just want to talk about, in brief, about the trust and about uh, something we, I have, uh, I want to share something that uh, at the end of our project in more than a job. Uh, first is the trust. We built a very uh, good networking with the authorities and with the SSEs. Uh, so it's... Um, can be replicated at later stages because we have that network and the other the other thing is um how we work on to make the networking to make the results of our project sustainable um uh, one of the projects that we are the sub grantees that we work with uh we try to link our projects and similar projects uh, to the their, their chance uh, and opportunities sustainable uh, at uh, what we say uh, at um, like to, to make it sustainable and uh, to to work uh, on the framework or more than framework uh, at the later stages so it's a good opportunity to work with all SSEs and BS in uh, Palestine um, at the end I want to Thank everyone for the contribution. We listen and we listen to their uh, learned lessons, uh, the, their challenges, their um, scope of work. That was uh, interesting. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Dima. So I'd like to thank Barbara and uh, all the team that contributed with her to, to do this interesting uh, project. Maybe it's a call for all of us in the different uh, projects to visit the report again and try to build the link between what uh, maybe to think about the concepts that she uh, have produced with the co-production or the uh, social innovation and try to clarify it because this is where we can um, highlight the importance of such projects and such interventions with the different approaches that uh, um, any of of us uh, can use in the future. And it is interesting to, to because when you look into the different five capitalized project, it, you think they are kind of different, but at the same time here, we found how common uh, the ground of the intervention and the basis of the different projects. So um, I give the last word to Georgia, maybe. Thank you. Uh, well, um, I, I think that we made the start today of the discussion that Julia wanted. 
Uh, and uh, so I would kindly ask everyone uh, when we are going to be in Amman uh, in 15 days um, to have reflected internally uh, about the topics that we would like to bring at national level so that we have a discussion uh, about that uh, on the first day of our meeting. Hmm? I mean, to not try to discover uh, the topics uh, when we are in a month, but to do a work internally uh, within our organization before. Um, and, uh, and one more question I, I wanted to ask, uh, do you mind if we make um, a post on uh, uh, Metrise media, social media uh, about this webinar because I took some uh, screenshots. Uh, so your, your picture will appear. If you don't have problem, we can we can make a post about the webinar we had today. Sure. Yes. You have to speak with my agent, Georgia. Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll try to do it later on. <laughs> Okay. Um, so, thank you very much. It was nice to see you all and see you soon. Yeah, Thanks thank so you much. everybody for uh, the interesting discussion and uh, we are looking forward for our next meeting in Amman or in the other uh, webinar.